always wanted to be vegan and it was more selfish reasons just my body beyonce is vegan jay-z is vegan quite a lot of celebrities are we're all inspired by queen bay jay-z has been looking really good i always knew like i want to do this but in my head i was like yeah when i'm successful and i have a chef never thought it would be this quick just came back from four months backpacking around southeast asia and i was in thailand and there it's really easy to be vegan because the thai people can cook not just thai food which is amazing but Cooking is just their life. Yeah, but now and then I'll try my friend's food and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Good. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. That just means I'm really connected to my higher self. I mean, my higher self is God. Your higher self is God. When you're most flourished, when you're living in truth, when there's no judgment. Yeah. And I think collectively, yeah. that's God to me. Being spiritual means I meditate a lot and now I do yoga and I pray a lot and I'm just more zen. Yeah. I had an encounter where I was riding a bicycle and then a scooter was coming because I had that phobia. I was just panicking and I moved and there was a family of chickens and in that moment they were like they looked at me like can we curse like what the fuck like they looked yeah, at me like, yeah. like oh man they were so terrified and I know this might sound funny to you but I realized in that moment that how do I think they're being killed and personally do I want to cause suffering on this earth I'm in a place in my life where everything I want to do is positive I always want to live a positive outcome yeah. so for me that's what led to making this decision that I don't want to cause pain to another being yeah, yeah. because of my so that's my personal reason yeah, and yeah. then secondary to that was also looking good yeah. so third to that was health because in my family there, there are certain illnesses as with plenty of other families, families so yeah. you have to start early yeah yeah true that when I was trying to get ready for this video mm-hmm. I'll see some product and it says good for vegetarians yeah. well that does, does that mean it's good for vegans as well and yeah. what's the difference so um, vegetarians don't eat like meat so they won't have like bomo shaki like all that's in there in all around about yeah but they they can use spiritually i'm on a different level like even my relationship with animals i, I can actually see the difference okay. because i'm not around negative energy and like my life has been flourishing i don't know whether it's my time or because yeah. you know you know my story yeah but my life has just been flowing so why not do this you know i've been okay. happy I don't know, you guys should just think of this. As mm-hmm. I said, you don't have to like go straight fully no, into take it. Your time. You can take like a week and just be vegan for a week and just see how your system feels. Yeah. Because I think giving yourself that pressure that come on, never eat meat in my life is scary. I love you. I love that you said pressure because one thing I did was our brain has evolved to the point that we can actually make very good alternatives yeah, yeah, that course. are healthy, less calories, and so I don't necessarily need to eat meat. I'm going to put on my apron now mm-hmm. and can I just say while we're putting on the apron that actually in Nigeria if you wanted to be vegan it's way easier than here ask me why we have everything organic fresh from the farm like all the food yeah I don't I don't actually like it in the UK because everything has so many chemicals like we're talking yeah, about banana today. tastes so different just, Nigeria is just if Even vegan, the chicken. yeah but if you knew what to eat as a vegan in Nigeria it's easy and it's fresh and it's full so yeah don't be discouraged <laughs> See you guys on the next episode. Share, see you. No, you're supposed to look at person here. Oh, <laughs>
everything i'm going to put the link to his channel on my description box make sure you go down there once we're done with this video i saw larry that day like he came back looking all skinny and stuff looking like less tired and everything and i was like what's up babe and he was like man i've gone vegan did you start being vegetarian before you went vegan no, or you just went vegan straight. anyway he went vegan and then we just got talking about the lifestyle and stuff like that to be honest i don't think i can ever give up <laughs> meat guys i can't like let's you know just talk about nigerian mm. meals that are vegan because it's so difficult being a nigerian mm. and going vegan did a bit of research and they came up with some meals i'm going to serve him my three meals let's just have a quick chat on yeah. how he went vegan and just an explanation of the lifestyle mm -hmm. and then i'm going to go into the meals what actually motivated you to go vegan to so i've always wanted to to be vegan and it was more selfish reasons just my body because okay. i knew beyonce is vegan jay-z is vegan a lot oh. of people are actually going vegan yeah, quite a lot okay. of celebrities are going going towards that way we were all inspired by Queen Bay and Jay-Z has been looking really good as in his I always knew like I want to do this but in my head I was like yeah when I'm successful and I have a chef I never thought it would be this quick I travel a lot I just came back from four months backpacking around Southeast Asia I was in Thailand and there it's really easy to be vegan because the Thai people can cook not just Thai food which is amazing but cooking is just their life yeah. and the street food and the street food there is amazing yeah. best food I've ever had so many vegan options but that doesn't mean I tried there because I'm so used to meat in like Nigeria you just used to that finishing your meat chewing after so chewing on the bone you, like, like the so it was so King hard now and then i'll try my friend's food and i'm like oh my god this is amazing so we're going to vegan restaurants because it was actually really nice why i became vegan was i'm not religious i'm spiritual that just means i'm really connected to my higher self my higher self is god your higher self is god when you're most flourished when you're living in truth when there's no judgment yeah and i think collectively yeah. that's god to me being spiritual means i meditate a lot and now i do yoga and i just i pray a lot and i'm just more zen i had an encounter so where I was riding, a, I actually so lived in, uh, in in Thailand. So I was in Thailand for quite a while because I didn't like scooters. I had phobia of so the sad. road. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so even car, like, even driving in Nigeria, so I, I don't do that, you know. So I was riding a bicycle, and then a scooter was coming because I had that phobia. I was just panicking and I moved and there was a family of chickens and in that moment they were like they looked at me like can we curse like what the fuck like they looked yeah, at me like, yeah. like oh man they were so terrified and I know this might sound funny to you but I realized in that moment that how do I think they're being killed and personally do I want animals do I want to cause suffering on this earth yeah. I'm in a place in my life where everything I want to do is positive. I always want to live a positive outcome. Yeah. So for me, that's what led to making this decision that I don't want to cause pain to another being. Yeah. yeah. Because of my so that's my personal reason. Yeah, and yeah. then secondary to that was also looking good health. and also health. And yeah, not not just looking good, also third to that was health because in my family there there's certain illnesses, as with plenty of other yeah, families. Some, so yeah. you have to start early. Yeah. Yeah, true that. So that's really interesting. Next and last question I'm going to ask is what's the difference between being vegan and mm -hmm. being vegetarian? Because every time you go to the stores, like when I was trying to get ready for this video, mm -hmm. I'll see some products and it says good for vegetarians. Yeah. But that does, does that mean it's good for vegans as well? And okay. what's the difference? So um, vegetarians don't eat like meat. So they won't have like bomo, shaki, like all that in there. In all their around food. about. Yeah. But they, they can use chicken broth. To cook. To cook, yeah. Okay. Vegetarians eat eggs or, or milk. I don't take any animal products. I don't take or honey. I so I don't take honey. That's veganism. It, so right, vegetarian it comes from the bee or... Yeah, but okay, because honey is another honey is another story because actually I, I told her like that. Personally I take honey because it's not you don't kill the bee. So that's a diff that yeah. that's a, I, 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 I spoke out a turn there. But most vegans don't take Honey, honey. Okay. or any animal product but can i just actually say something so for me i what i consider i'm a conscious eater which means i'm very okay. careful of what is going into my mouth but it's very vegan so let's just say vegan for the sake of this video yeah um, because it, you, you stay away from killing things that yeah living, because energy or eating and things that are living we're living yeah living. and after this i want to talk about the benefits like spiritually i'm on a different level like even my relationship with animals i, I can actually see the difference okay. because i'm not around negative energy and like my life has been flourishing i don't know whether it's my time or because yeah. you know you know my story yeah. but my life has just been flowing so why not do this you know i've been okay. happy but anyway so vegetarians eat um eggs so they like, like they have egg fried rice or butter yeah. stuff but so me no butter 
butter, no egg, yeah. no um, no no fish products, no broth. So like in Nigeria, it's so hard because you know we use chicken broth for everything okay. or meat broth. So that, that that's what veganism is. Yeah, to be honest, my own problem with not eating meat is the fact that, as you said, meat is mm. so important. Like to me, when I'm eating meat, is like the last thing. I don't yeah, eat course. it first. I don't eat it in the middle. I eat it at the end. And when I eat meat or fish, it's, like where's yeah. the meat? Where's the fish? Like where you bring? Is the like, Nigeria way of going? Like, that's how we just thought. <laughs> that's why I never thought it would be this. Yeah, that's why I kept asking him like, what can I replace me with if I was even going to consider this for like a week or something? Mm. And it was like. There are some mushrooms that are yeah. quite chewy because it's the chewing part of yeah. things that I really like. You guys just think of this. As mm -hmm. I said, you don't have to like go straight fully no, into take it. Your time. You can take like a week and just be vegan for a week and just see how your system feels. Yeah. Because I think giving yourself that pressure that come on, never eat meat in my life is scary. I love you. I love that you said pressure because one thing I did was because I know I have a lot of vegan friends and they're they're very egotistical like very snobbish they like to make one of people feel, i don't i'm not about that like my friends still ask me where can i get good chicken i still tell them good recommendations of where i used to go to yeah. because no everybody pressure. should know like, pressure yeah. and like for me like people make it seem like it's not a sin to eat meat i mean i'm not gonna go to like a lion in the jungle i say mr lion don't eat <laughs> <laughs> don't need that until of whatever yeah, they don't need yeah. the day. but what i think is like human consciousness like we evolve from our brain and my, my and this mind, is my theory yeah. our brain has evolved to the point that we can actually make very good alternatives yeah, yeah, that course. are healthy less calories and so i don't necessarily need to eat meat yeah. so but if, if i was caveman days of course i would eat meat you so would have to. first yeah. thing don't judge yourself and when i did this i said to myself lanry take it step by step so what that means i was still eating cheese i cut off me but i was eating cheese because i had to understand okay when i go to the grocery stores what do i find and ask questions so if you guys want to message me i'm here to help you that you, you're gonna see my contacts there. i was asking my friends okay can you tell me what you eat okay i actually like a lot of like products like that crunchy thing like what yeah, can i say and i yeah. started to discover there, there's some mushrooms that trust me you would not okay. even know yeah. it's not made there's like tempeh there's falafel there's tofu there are different options it's how you cook these things okay. like jackfruit you can use it for pulled pork burgers because yeah. jackfruit can go with any flavor in the world okay. so just things like that and i'm enjoying the educating myself and yeah. checking youtube and stuff so don't pressure yourself start so step by step so i'm still eating cheese and i said okay i cannot do cheese now fine and even chocolate things like that i thought would be so yeah. hard for me it's so easy to let go you know and then i was just going by the, then i'll try then i'll discover then i'll go to the restaurant and i actually ask questions does this have milk does it, it takes time but yeah. because i didn't put pressure on myself i didn't put a timeline I haven't gone back. I haven't looked back. Okay, thank you so much for the insights and everything. As he said, make sure you ask questions if you have any. You can always send him an email. While he was talking, he mentioned jackfruit, food burger, food pork, food this. Some people in Nigeria, because I know a lot of my subscribers are Nigerians or based in Nigeria or Nigerians living somewhere else. So you guys might not know these things. Mm -hmm. So what we decided to do in this video, I'm going to serve three different meals that are Nigerian yeah. meals that you are so familiar with that are also mm -hmm. vegan. I'm going to put on my apron now. Mm -hmm. And can I just say while we're putting on the apron that actually in Nigeria, if you wanted to to be vegan it's way easier than here ask me why we have everything organic fresh from the farm like all the food yeah i don't i don't actually like it in the uk because everything has so many chemicals like we're talking yeah, about banana it tastes so different it just tastes yeah, different nigeria. nigeria is just if even vegan, the chicken yeah but if you knew what to eat as a vegan in nigeria it's easy and it's fresh and it's full so yeah don't be discouraged <laughs> okay so i'm gonna get my food now to serve larry and hope he enjoys my nigerian vegan meals mm, i'm excited yeah, so this is my first meal. This is made up of moi moi. Obviously, you know moi moi already. Moi moi is steamed beans. This is sweet potato chips. Mm. This is fried plantain. This is a like tomato sauce with some veggies. There's carrots, there's peas, there's sweet corn, and uh, green peas. <laughs> on a normal day, I like a fish or meat on this, but because it's vegan, nah. Nah, mate. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. A few moments later. Most of my meals here are have to do with yam <laughs> and plantain. Because mm -hmm. those are things I really like. And since there's not gonna be meat and stuff, I rather use things I like. So the second one is porridge yam. So this one the okay, there's no yam here, it's actually um, no, sweet potatoes, it's okay. but that could have been fried yam as well. But this is porridge yam, so obviously you know how to make asaro. Some people call it asaro or porridge yam. Yam with um tomato sauce. I tried to put just Ooh. my spices, herbs, um, turmeric, garlic, and all that. No crayfish, no form of fish, no form of meat broth. 
and that's how it came yeah. out and i served it with fried plantain as well as i told you i really love fried plantain so when i can't have meat we have fried plantain thank you it's very good protein as well um plantain is very good protein i'm okay. sure okay moi moi is red beans very good protein for your body a few inches later the next and the last one is bold yam as i told you there's a lot of yam in this because of the energy levels as well there's bold yam i just put a little bit of bold on ripe plantain because it has a lot of iron mm. so it's like let's have that here and then we have a vegetable sauce so this vegetable sauce was just made with vegetables peppers loads of peppers as i said no crayfish but just pepper just kind of gives me like that nice spice and then i use spinach and kale to achieve the vegetable and then all red peppers and all the regular pepper just so that it looks a bit nice on the face mm, so this is it this is our third vegan nigerian <laughs> meal which essentially is a for real roll, but you just cook it in a more vegan way you don't use your chicken broth or exactly broth or you order mende mende. exactly <laughs> thank you i'm so excited yeah. Where do I and start? then we have grapes just for something to nibble on and also the drink for the day i got this aloe vera drink so i'm going to serve it to him okay. so we can enjoy our meal it's got some little aloe vera particles in it so aloe vera as we all know it's very good for the body i've never tried the drink i'm excited yeah. cool all right oh, bon appetit thank you where do i start it's exciting <laughs> How it's meant to be Say you'll be here with me You'll finish this race with me Cause now you're gone All I have are things So that's it guys, I hope you really really enjoyed this video Hope you enjoyed your yeah, meal Yeah, thank you for the meal, it was absolutely delicious You're welcome <laughs> And thank you so much guys, see you on the next episode see And make sure you subscribe and click yeah. the thumb up button i also love to read your comments so please drop comments on this video see you guys on the next episode <laughs> yes.